Hi, I'm Hannah Marks. I play Lindsay Santino on Necessary Roughness. It's on USA. And I'm here with Amanda Elkins doing her blog segment called This Is Me. And I've known Amanda for a few years now and she's just really, really great and an amazing photographer. I would describe myself as sarcastic, um, curious, determined, really motivated, uh, nervous. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would describe myself kind of Wednesday Adams-ish. <laughs> I like to look for vintage clothes at flea markets, vintage stores, even Goodwill. Uh, my favorite is the Fairfax flea market on Melrose and Fairfax and they just have amazing dresses, floral stuff from the 80s and 90s and this dress I got at the Fairfax market, uh, it was only $10. I think it started off as 15 and then I haggled them down because <laughs> I'm annoying, but uh, you can find some really amazing stuff there. I think I'm pretty good at writing. It's one of my biggest passions other than acting. I love writing scripts and short stories. I'm, I'm still learning at it, but I think I'm pretty good at it. And something I suck at is definitely singing and dancing because I'm the clumsiest person on the face of the earth but I'm actually about to start taking ballet classes for the first time ever, and I'm really nervous, but I'm excited. It's always good to try something new. Well, what kind of music I like? I feel like that's a hard question, but I love the Black Keys, Kings of Leon, just classic rock and roll, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, those are my favorites, uh, Iggy Pop, David Bowie. I, I love 70s rock, just classic. Well, I don't know if this counts, but Disneyland, that's a great place to go. I love Disneyland. It's in Anaheim. I'm a Disney nerd. That's one of my favorite places. Then also uh, Melrose, all the vintage shopping there is amazing. I love to go to like up on Mulholland where the beautiful views are where you can see the entire city. That's gorgeous. Uh, Larchmont Village, that's another one of my favorite places. Uh, I'm a food nerd. I love delis and diners, so I love Jerry's Deli, even though it's kind of a touristy place. Question is, <laughs> I'm scared. What's inside your purse right now? Empty. What's inside my purse? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, it's a tiny purse, so I can't fit very much in it. But right now, there's my wallet. Uh, this was my mom's wallet from the '80s, I think, and has my credit card, all my information in it. Five dollars. Not very much. Let's see have my iPhone. Sadly, I can't live without it. Um, let's see. Lipstick, my favorite makeup. And got a little heart clip. Pretty sure this is from the fifth grade and it's still in my purse. <laughs> and powder. And that's, that's about it. Usually I keep a disposable camera, but can't fit it in this purse. As I told Amanda, <laughs> I don't really have any hidden talents, which is kind of sad. I don't have any special skills. I can't do any tricks or anything, but I do have a hobby. I love collaging, and I have this giant vision board that I made, and it has you know, Ryan Gosling, glitter shoes, all of my favorite stuff, and it's on my wall, so I couldn't bring it, but I found some stuff that I did back in 2005, so sixth grade, and it's pretty silly. There's lots of pages filled with stuff I wouldn't wear now, like Velcro shoes. But it's really fun to look back at all this stuff. At the end I wrote, wrote something at the end It says, when Hannah Marks made this book, she was obsessed with Johnny Depp. So <laughs> at least I know that some things haven't changed. <laughs> and then this one is a little bit more recent. It's just filled with clutter pages. I guess I used to want to be a magazine editor, something like that. I would still love to be a magazine editor for Nylon or any cool magazine. I love fashion. The most rewarding experience I ever had was writing a script with my friend Liana. I've been trying to write since the ninth grade and this year I finished my first script ever. So we made it 109 pages and it was just the most rewarding experience I've ever had because it felt like I was putting together a giant puzzle and I had to put all the pieces to make them fit and I feel like at the end we did a really good job 
but it definitely needs a lot of rewrites so it's still a process but it was by far the most amazing thing that I've done for my mind and for myself. I think probably a fashion trend that I can't get used to would be scrunchies or maybe leg warmers. I love I love high knee socks. No, those aren't leg warmers, Amanda. Those are those are cute socks that go with boots. I swear. I mean, like the the hot pink little scrunchy leg warmers for your ankles. I don't, I don't know if I like those, but I love socks. Promise. <laughs> um, and yeah, just just scrunchies. I don't really like that that '80s look. I think it has to be really done right. My goodness. Uh, I definitely have a lot of phobias. I have a phobia of small space, like claustrophobia. I cannot be in an elevator with a bunch of people. I feel like I can't breathe. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, I actually have a fear of spiders, which is weird because I had two pet tarantulas for a while, and I wouldn't let them touch me. I would just take photos of them, and I was a really bad spider mommy because I was scared of them, but I did think they were kind of cool and beautiful in a weird way. Okay, well, number one would have to be traveling on my, my life's to-do list. I would love to travel all over the world. Really would love to go to India or Italy. There's actually a lot of places in America that I haven't been that I would love to go to. So traveling is a big one. Number two, I would like to sell a script. Really, really would love to be a writer. Uh, Aaron Sorkin is one of my biggest idols. He wrote The Social Network. It's one of my favorite movies. Number three, uh, I would just love to keep acting and be successful at it and hopefully get to do it as an adult. That would be just a dream come true because it's something I care the most about. And number four, I would love to direct and produce. This is sad, they're all movie related. The biggest movie nerd ever. I would love to produce and direct a a movie, hopefully a drama or a dark comedy or fantasy. I really love fantasy films. And number five, let's see. Number five, I guess, would be to have a family. I, I'm really big on family. I care so much about my family, my parents, that I'd love to be able to do that with myself one day. Well, thank you for watching. I've had a great time doing this with Amanda and Check out her blog.